children who started using gadgets early showed a low level of self-control. Young children who started using smartphones and tablets at an earlier age may have trouble self-regulating. The work of scientists from the University of California at Davis shows that parents of young children should more strictly control the interaction of their children with computers and smartphones. In particular, preschoolers should not be introduced to gadgets too early. An article about this is published in the Journal of the American Medical Association Pediatrics. The study assessed skills that predict academic and socialization success, as well as the physical and mental health of a developing individual. Among them are the ability to self-regulate and plan, as well as the ability to control your thoughts, actions and feelings. In the study, which lasted about 2.5 years, the researchers followed 56 children between the ages of 32 and 47 months. Their parents were also interviewed. Recruitment of participants in the experiment was carried out through the distribution of leaflets at children's events. During individual 90-minute sessions with subjects, scientists asked children to perform 10 tasks to check self-regulation. Among the tasks were, building a turret from toy blocks, slow walking for a certain time, tasks for delayed pleasure, please postpone the unpacking of the gift until the departed researcher returns to the room. It turned out that self-regulation skills were lower in those children who began to use multimedia devices, such as tablets, smartphones and TVs, at an earlier age, as well as in those who used such devices more often. Although moderate interaction with gadgets can be beneficial for a child, the authors of the study are confident that the available results confirm the reasonableness of restricting the use of mobile devices by children. Time spent in contact with multimedia devices was assessed on the basis of surveys of parents. It turned out that the average length of screen time did not depend on family income. But in relatively wealthy and wealthy families, children gained access to smartphones and tablets at an earlier age. In addition to the negative impact on the personal qualities of children, there are other reasons to reduce the time of their interaction with smartphones and tablets. Some text goes here the portable nature of mobile devices allows them to be used anywhere, for example, and LT, and GT, in line at the grocery store, says lead study author Amanda K. Lawrence. Constant interaction with screens makes it difficult to establish adequate relationships with parents or to learn self-reassuring behaviors that promote optimal development. This small study may be the first stage of a large-scale study of how electronic gadgets affect the mental and psychological development of children. The authors of the work believe that parents should be as cautious as possible in this matter and strictly control the screen time of their offspring. Find us at